What is up Jerk Squad? I am the Perch Jerker and I make family friendly educational fishing videos and today I am out at Huntington Beach Pier in Southern California. Let's see what we catch in the winter time. It's about the end of January so let's rock. We're working on the first crab trap hole of the day. There's a crab in there, dude. Perch got the crabs? Yeah, I caught a crab, too. <laughs> <laughs> the skunk busters are here. All right, let's get a look at this guy. I just pulled up the crab trap for the first time, and we got a little visitor in here. We got ourselves a little crab, dude. This guy has some awesome jewelry on. Look at that bling. He's got a paddock on his wrist. Man, that's a pretty color crab. I'm surprised it's not trying to pinch me right now. They got to be four inches in order to keep them out here, so let's send this dude back in the water. Look at this beautiful sunrise, my crabby. Leap of faith. Wee! Loop. This is all that I put in the crab trap so far. I just cut up a couple mackerel, slapped them in there, and that's it. Jet is over here with a thornback skate, it looks like. We got Nathan on the hand line. He's up, open the bill. Oh, that's a nice thornback. He hit the anchovy. Did he now? Live anchovy. They used live anchovy as bait, and you can see that they got mackerel on there too. But the live chovy is what it wanted. Nice job, Jet. Way to go, dude. These things are awesome. They got spines on their back. That's why they call them thornbacks. Man, look at your catch, Jet. All right, Jet is going to throw this thing back. There she goes. Bloop. We're seeing what kind of bait fish are out here. We're hoping for mackerel. But look at this. Up and over. I think one of them fell off, dude. You had a whole stringer. Oh, wait, no. Anchovies. That's an anchovy right there. Yeah, anchovy. That's, That's awesome. So there's anchovy. That's another anchovy. Yes, another anchovy. And then those three are I smelt. Yes. Little jack smelt. You can often find these on the charter boats when you go Catalina. We got smelt and anchovies and we're filling up the bucket. We got little baits. Luke's going to try what? We're going to do a halibut rig, right? Yep. We have it in the water currently. Bringing up the crabby trap. Oh, that one's trying to slide through. <laughs> oh, I got a little starfish too. He's kind of broken. <laughs> but yeah, that's sweet. Little starfish. Leap of faith. Whee! It appears that we have a little crab. Looks like a little rock crab. He was down there eating the mackerel. But yeah, he's a decent little guy. Clean shell, all of his legs. Looks like he's having a good time. Oh, look at it, dude. There's three of them. Oh yeah, we're gonna be eating some snacks today. I tell you what, man. We got it going on, Luke. To catch these things, I'm just dropping this down. They're just little tiny sabiki hooks, not even putting bait on them. I'm gonna do a catch clean cook on anchovies and jack smelt. <laughs> and these are little tiny ones, so they'll be really perfect to like fry up in a pan or something. Water. We're in the water. Ooh, ooh, look at that action. We're getting tapped like crazy. Oh, they're swimming up now. Ooh, ooh, look at that. We almost got a whole stringer full. Oh, we almost filled it all the way up. All right, let's look at Luke's catch that he pulled. Oh, look at that little dude. <laughs> look, at his, look, at, look, look at him look go. At, look. That's how they swim. I know, that's awesome. Helicopter, helicopter. All right, dude, let's check out these little guys. More snails. Man. Ah, he's grabbing me. He's these little grabbing. snails are coming out. I kind of want to eat one of these too, man. There's uh, another snail. Female. You can see the circle. Oh, yeah. That's a difference female baby crab. Anyone watching right now, can I eat these snails? Is that allowed? Escargot? That's kind of what it is, right? Yeah, you did it, bro. You did it, Julio? Yes, sir. It's too much. Oh, it's yeah. cool, dude. That's plenty. Look at that. The bait fish are lining up. There's no mackerel today, but hey, man, we're out here halibut jamming. Crab, you know what I'm saying? That's right. If you want to catch a halibut, take some jack smelt and put them on a Carolina rig and throw them out close to the surf. Luke is bringing up his crab trap now, and we saw something little moving in there, and we want to know what it is. Snail. It's a snail. That's awesome, Luke. Look at that little shell. Yeah, there's like this bubble. Yeah, this snail's being all kinds of weird. We're going to stick it back in the ocean. We'll name him Gary. Back up. See you, Gary. Bloop. Yeah, nice form. I swear, Mike, that is like the biggest smelt I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God, look at the size of this thing. It reminds me of my smelt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, that is a huge jack smelt, Mike. Luke's out here with the assist. We're bringing up the crab trap and it looks like we have someone home. Yay, crabby. Got those purple legs on him. Look at the little crab. Cute little guy. Let's see, he is a male. That is a male crab. You can see by the triangle. Yep. If it's more of like a round oval, then that means that it's a female. Look at the legs on it, they're like purple. That looks so sweet. And then on the top, he's got like this little black hole on him. That's kind of weird. Looks like a 
burn mark or something. And then tiny little barnacles. He don't have too much jewelry on him. Healthy little crab right here. We're gonna throw this dude back in. The leap of faith. Wee! Boop. I got these little jack smelts and the anchovies and I'm gonna go home and cook them and eat them. I know, tell me how crazy I am down in the comments for eating jack smelt. I'm gonna fry it up. Let's get back to the crib. Let's do it. And here we are, we're at the crib. Look at that, dude. I said we're doing a catch clean cook. Today, we're making fish sticks. Here you go. This is gonna be the catch clean cook that no one ever wanted. Now on the left here, we have four beautiful, delicious looking jack smelt. And on the right here, we have four beautiful, delicious looking anchovies. The way to tell the difference between jack smelt and anchovies, jack smelts will have these little yellow spots on the side. Anchovies will not have that. But enough about the jack smelt. The first thing we're gonna do is cut their heads off. And there you go. All right, so I took the heads off and I took all of the guts out. And now all we're left with is this body, tail, and the meat inside, and that's it. I've got a bowl here that I put flour in along with some garlic powder, black pepper, and some chili powder. I put the iron skillet on medium heat and I'm gonna fill it with some oil. I'm going to coat the anchovies and cook them first because they're small. We'll be keeping these separate so I know exactly which one I'm eating. These jack smelt are the one that I'm scared about. The oil's heated up, let's do it. They're cooking. The anchovies look pretty crispy and done. That's what we got. Same thing for the jack smelt. Oh, this is going to be interesting. That is going to do it for the jack smelt. This is research and development, you guys. We're about to research and develop. Here it is. Here's my fish. They're all nice and cooked and crispy. Um, I'm just going to eat them whole. Let's just do it. I've seen people cook them like this before. Uh, let's try the let's try the jack smelt first. We got to have a clean palate for this, dude. All right, this is fried jack smelt. I've never eaten jack smelt. I've heard so many different reviews about it. Let's see how it is. Okay. What? Dude, if you fry that up, that tastes like any other fish. Look, here's another fat chunk of jack smelt right here. Dude. That meat in there is like white and fluffy. Mmm, that's not even bad. What? Why does everyone hate jack smoke? It literally just tastes like another fish to me. That's really not even that bad. You could literally eat jack smoke and you'll be fine. And you can fry them like this. The bones are in there, but they're not like crunchy and chewy. They kind of like fall apart. Like if you have a can of sardines and oil or something, it's kind of like that. I think the bones are just so small and brittle that they just break apart. All right, anchovy time. I'm expecting this will probably be a little bit better. Mm, it's definitely a little bit better. Huh, wow. All right, well, I'm really looking forward to reading all these comments, you guys. So go down and tell me all your jack smelt stories, how they're good, bad. I wanna hear all about your jack smelt. So thank you guys for watching. Go get some perch merch in the link in the description and subscribe to the channel. That's all I ask of you guys. All right. This was awesome. Honestly, I'm glad I did this because this is actually a decent snack. So give it a try, you guys. It's honestly good. Fry these up. You'll have some fish sticks. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Love you, Drew Squad. Peace.